Hello and welcome to Yak Wack Clips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 3 of Let's Play The Hand of Glory Part 2. So, in the previous episode, we managed to send a guy back home to try and trace his address, but now we are playing as Alice. So, I've no idea where we are or what we've got to do, so let's just mosey on along, shall we? Yes? Who is it? Is this the house of Professor Visconti? Oh, you must be the young girl that called here yesterday. I'll open the door for you, dear. Hi, darling. I'm Marie. Please put your things on that table. Thanks a lot. Good. Let's get busy. Everything's on? ready. Here I am, Marie. I'm making a cake specifically for you, dear. Oh, you didn't need to go to so much trouble. I wouldn't be a good housekeeper if I didn't accommodate the professor's guests properly. Speaking of which, excuse me for the hurry, but is the professor home? Yes, but you'll have to wait. He's taking his afternoon nap now and I can't wake him up. Lately, he's always so tired. He needs rest and treatment. Treatment? For what? Oh, you poor dear. Don't you know? The professor has contracted some rare form of Alzheimer's. What? Why didn't I see anything about it online? Lamberto is a very proud man. Since the diagnosis, he's preferred to hold up at home. Do you think he'll be able to help me? If he made you come all the way here, I'm sure he will. His disease comes and goes. Talking to him is like being on a roller coaster. In the meantime, feel free to explore the house as you please. I just ask that you not go to the upper floor. The bedrooms are there, and um, you might bother the professor. Don't worry. I'll use this chance to do a certain task for a colleague of mine. Okay, so we have to do something. I mean, I'm still none the wiser about who Professor Lomberto is. Maybe she mentioned it in the previous in the previous game in part one. I don't really re recall, but I have got this. Oh, what's that mirror? Oh, that's that weird black mirror thing, wasn't it? Hmm, from part one. It's all slowly coming back. Let's have a look what it says. I have to establish a Wi-Fi connection. All right, let's go find some Wi-Fi stuff then. First things first. I need an internet connection. Okay, so I'm not going to have a connection on there, am I? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can I turn, just turn it on? Hmm... The connection is protected with a web key. I have to ask Marie. Okay. Well, that's pretty much... She seems like a, a very likeable character. Um, can I turn it off? World. Oh, world, as in going back to the real world. Scanner, suitcase. What's in the suitcase? Oh, a book tools. of the professors, a mini torch, a flash drive, and an electronic voltage tester. Nothing that would be useful at the moment. But some handy things nonetheless. Taking the scissors. My print her. One of the best printers available on the market. That's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> a print her. Just for women. It's a high resolution scanner. Right, let's go and get this internet on. Let's talk to her. Marie, I will need your web key. A key? I'm sorry, but I gave the spare one to the plumber who's fixing the leaky sink. No, I mean the passcode for the internet connection. We don't have internet. There's not even a computer in the house. Then the line I discovered must be somewhere nearby. Hmm. What is your relationship with the house owner? Excellent, I'd say. The professor is a good employer, kind and patient. You have no idea how sad it is to see him reduced to this state. Lamberto was never an effusive person, nor cheerful. But when he worked on his research, you could feel the passion unleashed throughout the house. I noticed the furnishings are tribal. And yet I thought the professor's area of study was the Middle Ages. Lamberto studies all kinds of cultures and eras, dear, without any limits or distinction. What are you doing? What are you doing? Making a cake for you, my dear. A chocolate one. I hope you like them. I love them, but I'm just terrible with homemade desserts. I can't handle such sticky dough without making a mess. <laughs> oh well, 
Take my word when I say this dough is very sticky. Okay, so we got sticky I'll dough. I'll leave you for now. Are we going to need sticky dough at any point, do you reckon? I think we are. Right, let's go in TV. Wonderful. Often the new screens don't match the clear images of those cathode ray boxes. Hmm. Where could the internet be coming from? A neighbour, perhaps? Ooh, nice. Adjustable wrench. Normally, I don't pick up everything I find, but a bit of aluminum could come in handy. Okay. I wonder why they left an adjustable wrench to fasten that tube. Hmm. I reckon I probably have to break it or fix it or something. Well, they don't have to do anything with it at the moment. Microwave. Um. Wow, that's fancy, isn't it? This thing saved me from starvation more than once. Basically, these warnings tell us that it's like having a bomb in the house. Oh, uh, okay. So we have to put a metal container in there, such as tinfoil, must not be placed in this oven. Well, that tells me one thing and one thing only. I have to put the tinfoil in the microwave. Bad things happen to anyone who puts an aluminum tray in a microwave. <laughs> right. Can we cut that? No. For reasons unknown? No. Okay, let's get out. So we have we can't really do a lot at the moment. I just looked at the sink. Oh, that knife up there. No. Is there anything over this way? Can I walk over here? No. The end of the screen. So the laptop does nothing. All these fridge magnets do nothing. Fridge. She said don't go upstairs. So I think it's rude to try. Have a look at the masks. <clears throat> if I can't do anything, I'll go back Threatening. out. The teeth seem real. Oh, maybe maybe they are. Right click. Threatening. No, the the teeth. What about this bottom mask? An eagle with its eyes bugging out. Funny. What about this one up here? It looks like a pot holder with eyes. Maybe of African origin. It's really unsettling. It has a fabulous mane. I can't resist. I have to caress it. <laughs> it looks Aztec or Incan. It's not really my field. Okay, so oh, I've got an achievement for looking at all the masks. I need the password for the connection. I have to establish Wi-Fi. Um, mm, don't think I want to go. In fact, let's go upstairs. Let's see what she says. What's she going to do? Shoot me. I have no reason to snoop around on the next floor. Let's go back out then. I have to find the origin of the Wi-Fi connection that I tracked earlier. Nothing here. I should move. That's it. I'm receiving a weak signal. So I presume it's next door. What's this I see? Oh no, did I make a mess? I was concentrating on the phone and... Not at all. It's just that I never saw such a dazzling smile. Oh, he's so beautiful. when I look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, it's one of them. Sorry, I have to go now. I mistook you for an acquaintance of mine. So what? Can't we get to know each other? I'm Benjamino, gorgeous. I'm... I'm Alice. What a promiscuous man. I'll have to prepare myself to deal with his advances. Oh dear, did it ever occur to you to talk to Professor Visconti? Do you know if there's an available internet? I see you really care about your car. I want the internet. Do you know if there's an available internet connection nearby? Uh, there's nothing free around here, but the guys upstairs have Wi-Fi. You can get there through the front door. They always leave it open. You don't happen to know the password, do you? No, nah, I'm not a tech nerd. I got other interests. He has the hungry eyes of a prairie coyote. Um, let's give him a compliment. I bet you work out a lot. Oh, you noticed, huh? Check this out. <laughs> Not every woman cares about muscles. Sure, but it's still cool if I pick up half of them. Nice. I look like that. 
just so you guys know, it's exactly how I look. <laughs> just don't watch my trailer talk videos because you'll see I might be lying a little bit. Did it ever occur to you to talk to Professor Visconti? Who? That fossil? Stop joking. The professor is a serious scholar of the occult. That professor's a big dope. That's what he is. I see you really care about your car. <laughs> I need to make my mark, baby. Make your mark? And with the chicks. Babes like you. You know, if they see you coming with a hot rod like this, and with tinted rear windows... Uh, I wish I never asked. Oh, don't be shy. You want to go for a ride? I get car sick. It's not exactly a Lamborghini, is it? See you soon. Later, Tufty. Oh, what a delightful man. Benjamino. Hose. Ooh, that's a stinky manhole cover. Let's just go in and get the internet, shall we? I'm pretty sure the Wi-Fi signal Benny Amino was talking about comes from in there. Yeah, there we go. We have... Wi-Fi, I guess. Can I do anything? I... What's that? Vent. The vent draws in the external air which is then cooled down and fed back into the house. Okay. So we probably have to get that hose off Benyavino and suck in the stinky air from the manhole. I can't lift the shutter. Anything up here? No. So I'm pretty sure that's what I have to do. Um... Really no reason to put a vent, a, an aluminium foil tin on no. a vent. Yeah, I agree, Alice. I agree. Why not some scissors either? I need to focus. You do need to focus. On the window? Can I scratch the window no. open? No. I think I'm right. I think I'm right that I need to get the hose somehow. Hmm. Hose. Let's have a look at the hose. Hose. Manhole I'm cover. I'm starting to formulate an idea. Inserting the hose into that stinky manhole and connecting it to the vent I saw earlier. The air conditioner would draw in the bad smell, causing the house owners to open the window to ventilate. I have to convince Benny Amino to let me use his hose. It's almost as if it's an adventure game and these, these are puzzles that, that need to be solved. Benny Amino. Hey. Hiya girl, what do you need? I need your hose. Oh, really? Are we going to say that? Is it going to turn into a euphemism? I need your hose. Holy cow. You blurred it out <laughs> just like that? Off the bat? The rubber hose. Uh, it sounded weird. I'm using it now, though. But the car is clean enough already. Nope. Gotta make it shine like it's brand new. Even though I really don't want to today, it needs to be done. Hmm. Can I make it shiny and brand new? I really need that hose so I don't waste time. But I have to find a way to convince Benny Amino. Is there any way... Oh, that's still stinky there as well. Is there any way to clean the car? I did some research before leaving. The arrow down indicates that the no parking sign is valid to this point. With an upside down arrow, however, the sign is valid from this point on. Clear and clever signposting. Oh, can I change it then? I did some research with an upside down. No, I can't. Hmm. Let's talk to him again. See if I can just sweet talk him. Come on, Alice, you're a bit slow. Hey. Hiya, girl. What do you need? You sure? Are you sure you can't lend me the rubber hose? Damn sure. I have to wash the car until it shines like a diamond. Hmm. See you soon. Later, Tufty. Tufty. It's really not a very nice name. The muscular guy's car. Ugh, the tinted windows give me chills. So, what have we got? Um, mirror. Oh, let me just look at the mirror. Can I look at the mirror? I don't like keeping it in my pocket. No. No. 
I don't think so. Hmm. So I have to make him. Oh, can I cut? Can I cut the hose? Do you think that'll work? No. Ah, okay. What else could I do? Um, is there anything else around here? Ticket. Is that because it's in the no parking bit? Come on, Alice. Walk Judging a bit by faster. that ticket for illegal parking, I'd say that law enforcement here is much more efficient than I was led to believe. So maybe I have to get a parking ticket and stick it on here. What do you think? Was there anything in the uh, in the apartment? Well, there's nothing there. Just hovering over it to see if I've missed anything. Oh, that's the... Oh, oh, yeah. I kind of remember. Alice has some secret superhuman power. Where she uses body language. And makes people... Let's see if I can dig under that heap of muscles. Things. Yes. So what do I have to do here? Oh, whistling bright eyes on this and this pocket. Confidence. Bright eyes. Yawn. Whistling. Surprise to distract. Light heartedness. Go for that. I think I drew a ah. wrong conclusion. Lightheartedness. Did I click on that? Lightheartedness. Bright eyes. Mm. I'm gonna go for yawn. Confidence. I think I miss a Okay, let's do it again. Let's go for happiness. He's a happy chappy. Oh, here we go. Inner joy. Judging by his behavior, I'd say Benny Amino is anything but bored. I rather think he's enjoying the day and that he loves washing his car. It appeals to many guys. Something I can't really relate to. Not that I have a car to wash, of course, but if I did, I don't think I'd like spending the whole day on... Come on, Alice, focus! <laughs> I need to borrow that hose, but Benny Amino won't stop using it while he's in such a good mood. And I do believe that stirring up some sort of trouble with his car would be the best way to ruin it. Let's do it then. The muscular guy's car. Ugh, the... I think we've either got to get it really mucky. I don't think so. Or... Um, maybe that parking ticket. Not a great. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm just using nonsense on it. Now. Ticket. Oh, the magnifying glass has turned into an arrow. I'll take that ticket despite every ethical objection. Where are you going, Alice? Just cross the road. Let's use that ticket on the car to get rid of Bien Bien. Benny Amino doesn't That's seem to be particularly smart, but I think he'd notice oh. if the plate doesn't match. Come on, Alice. Come on. A ticket for illegal parking. Um, can I cut it out? Better not. Um, hmm. So the plates don't match. The muscular. To, what's, the, what's the plate? Let's talk to him. Hey. Hey. Hiya, girl. What do you need? Uh, nothing. See you soon. Later, Tufty. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to go back into here, see if there was a pen lying around. Or a type... Typewriter? That's how I'm right. Uh... Oh, scanner. There was a scanner, wasn't there? Right, let's see if we can get the scanner to work. Let's use that with that. Yes, I'll modify the parking ticket with the corresponding plate number. Let's launch the photo editing software. 
I delete the old plate number, insert that guy's plate number, and there you have it. Perfect. I'll send the modified picture to the printer. Et voila! A fresh ticket hot off the presses. Wonderful. Let's go and get rid of this jerk. What a beefcake, eh? I do apologise if you have muscles like a tank. But, um, <laughs> I don't, so therefore, he's a beefcake. The license plate matches, but the car is not oh, in no God. parking zone. I really doubt that Benny Amino would worry about a ticket if not completely justified. Right, I guess I have to get rid of that, turn that round. Just turn it upside down. I bet it's screwed tightly or something stupid like that, though. It's well tightened to the uh, pole. Scissors? I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, the mirror? The mirror wouldn't do it. I don't think so. No. Um, so we need to move that car. Can we talk to him? Ask him to move it? I wish you'd move it. Do wish he walks a little bit faster. Hey. Hiya, girl. What do you need? What do you need? Right, he can't. still can't lend you See his you soon. House. Later, Tufty. So it's welded to the pole, which means... Did, did she say welded? I think she said welded rather than screwed. It's well tightened to the pole. Oh, well tightened. Um... Let's go in here, see if we find anything that can untighten it. A screwdriver, maybe? Um, what could he... Oh, what about that thing that was under the sink? What about a knife? No, I can't click on the knife. What about that thing? It, just it might be useful. Oh no, what a oh, mess! Oh no! I can't take it until I find another way to plug the leak. Okay, let's plug the leak then. Um, I need to focus. How can I plug the leak? Scissors? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Again, I'm just using random things. Um, what could I? What could I plug the leak with? Oh, the sticky, the sticky cake. Yes. I know it may sound strange, but can I have a bit of that dough? I'm sorry, my dear, but I can't give you any. But I need very little, Marie. It would damage the proportions. I'm very precise about these things. I get it. I'll manage some other way. Think, Alice. What would Lars do in your place? <laughs> no better, the less drastic solution. That was brilliant. That was really funny. Um, right. What else? What else could I? What else could I do? Hmm. Maybe a little bit in here. In this tray. I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. Right. What do you think I should do, guys? Do you think Do you think it's worth just asking again and asking, or is it something else I need to do? Not too sure. Leave your decisions, your ideas, in the comments because we are going to leave this video right here. And um, although we haven't really done that much, we've only been a couple of places. We've done a lot. We are Alice, and that's awesome. So anyway. It would be very, very lovely if you could leave this video a big like. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe if it's your first time here as well. Why not? And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening. Take care.